Welcome back. Uh, we're going to continue from the previous video and we're going to work on um, basically the NM blueprint now. Okay, here it is. Um, Adam NM blueprint, just open that up and as you can see right now, it has nothing in it. Um, let's run this project and see what happens if I select my character and then run it. We get nothing. Okay, we need to fix that first. Okay, so uh, NM blueprint for the Adam character, and we want to add a state machine here. So add a new state machine, motion, and then connect that there, and then we need. Um, okay, so the first thing we need is an idle walk run blend space. So let's make that. Go to, well, let's make it here basic animation, animate uh, blend space 1D, and we want to make this for the atom skeleton. Okay, so I'm going to call this idle walk run blend space 1D and display editor vertically set this to 600. Set the X label to speed and we'll see why we're we do that later. Or if you've seen the un, uh, the Epic Games tutorials on Unreal Engine 4, and, and they have a very extensive uh, tutorial set on these basic uh, basic setups, you can I, I suggest you look at that as well. So we just uh, we select idle, and this is the one we want. Okay. Open on the blend space and then cancel this idle idle copy and drag that down there walk walk copy drag that to the middle then one one copy drag that to the top okay so you got idle walk one now you will notice that this is different from the original mixamo blend space okay so this is the original you have an idle you have a walk and you have a run. Okay, but we are using, well, basically, we've retargeted the uh, animations for the blue man and applied them to the atom skeleton. So this look is just entirely different. And so we're going to use this one. So just close that and go back to blueprint. And then blueprint, I don't walk one, I don't walk one, and in asset browser, EWR, drag this here, there, and promote variable. I'm going to call this speed. Okay, it's float. See that. Save that. Close this local motion the event graph. Okay, then I want to reuse this um, anim blueprint for other characters. So, just like we've been retargeting animations, I would like to retarget this entire and a blueprint for another character. So in order to do that, um, 
we're going to take a number of steps and I'll explain that as we go along. So for, first we take this and we cast it to my character. Okay, now typically what you would do is you would cast it to whatever character you were using for. For example, we could cast this to cast to to the atom blueprint right and this works too but when it comes time to uh, retarget this anim blueprint to for another character uh, it doesn't quite work out uh, very well and you end up replacing all of the, the character blueprint nodes one by one so we're not going to do this we're going to use the generic uh, cast and when we need some specific functionality that's only in the atom uh, character blueprint and not in the generic blueprint, then we can worry about it then. Okay, so click on this, promote variable, and I'm going to call this the character preview. Character blueprint. And uh, what we want to do and is valid here. Okay, basically uh, we want to set up two initial variables to check if the character is falling and what the character's current speed is, and that will drive our initial animation. So a few changes we need to make here. Um, this should probably save the delta time x. So promote that to a variable, and let's call it. Um, and in delta x. So this is essentially the the time since the last uh, the last iteration of this uh, anim call. And you put this there. You put that there. Character blueprint. Um, this will call a sequence. Let's see. And we want, okay, we probably should check if this is valid. Is sometimes casts can fail. Okay, then um, we want to know if the character is falling. Okay, to get to this character blueprint is why we did all of this casting and everything. So we store the, the character blueprint here and then we started using it over here. Uh, we want uh, to get the movement component. No, no, we really want that. Get the character. Movement. Okay. The character movement is falling, and then save that. And we also want to know how fast the character is moving. So again, get get velocity, get velocity, and then the magnitude of this velocity. 
vector length will give speed. To save this, promote variable, call this speed. Okay, speed is already set. We set that in the when we were making the blend space. So we just set it to speed. Speed's already defined, so go from there to there. Right, and that's enough to drive our basic animation. So speed will drive the 1D blend space. And we get back into locomotion. And we can set up our jump loop. So we go from there to add state, jump start. Oh, right, you have to first add the state, get node, and then we can name node to jump loop. Add state jump end. And just rename that to fix this. Okay, uh, we want jump, so jump start. Oh, wait, this is for right, this is the conditions. Let's just put the animations in first. Jump start and Click on the animation, and we don't want to loop this, so uncheck loop animation, right? And just close that. So again, locomotion, and we want to enter this state if we are falling. So we go to the blueprint, check is falling, and then just connect that there. And when we're ready to exit that'll happen if if the time remaining on that animation is less than 10 percent or we can set it to whatever we want to just generally set it to 10 percent 0.1 and we can enter that animation let the jump loop for the jump loop you could use the jump loop copy. This time you click on it and make sure that it does in fact loop. And then when you are no longer falling, is falling not You can enter the jump end. For the jump end, just use the jump end copy. And this animation will also not be looping, so uncheck that.
and for this again we can set a time ratio on this Okay, and that's basic, yeah, that's your basic movement. So let's uh, try and see if this works. So go to the Atom Blueprint and Components, Mesh. We did set the Mesh, but we didn't set the Animation Blueprint. So use Atom Blueprint and we want to use the Atom, Atom Blueprint. Okay, that's the one we were just working on. Everything seems okay. Close this. Save everything. Now we see if it works or not. And there you are. Running, jumping, and walking, turning around, and there's there you go. Okay, now the reason you do a three-point jump is you don't know how long the jump will last. So, for example, if I'm running and I press jump, it goes up and it lands back down. But, for example, if I jump from over here, the jump is very is much longer than than just jumping from on on the ground. So. If you're if you're not using a three-point system with the middle looping around, then the jump might end and the character will start walking while still in the air, and that's it's not good. So uh, one other thing you should notice is that because we have tied jumping to to whether or not the character is falling, we don't actually need to press the jump key to get into the falling animation. So let's say the character will just walk off the ledge. And you see those jump animations kicked in, and I never pressed the jump key. So th this is uh, like really nice, and you get a very, you know, uh, convincing result here. And we didn't even have to do anything. So this is just for free. So I think this is enough for this video, and then we can continue in the next one. All right. Thanks. Bye.